Hello and welcome to another one of our videos. This is our March 2018 BMW 340i M Sport Shadow Edition Touring. This is a lovely car finished in Estrel Blue Metallic. It's got some great equipment on it. We're going to come to that in just a second. If I bring you in closer to the front of the car, the whole car has been detailed and machine polished um, to a really high level. And we have uh, two people that work on a car. One will concentrate on machine polishing the exterior of the body and bringing it up into a really lovely glossy reflective state, as you can see there on the camera. And the other gentleman will work on the interior of the car to make sure it's really clean and uh, just as you would uh, expect to see on a lovely car like this. Now we've got the really nice BMW adaptive LED icon lights on the front of this car. Just come round, I think they're called Icon 2. A slightly different shape, really nice headlights. Let me just get this in focus. There we go. Being the shadow edition, we've got the black gloss grills in at the front. They're all BMW fitted from new. We've got front fog lights. We've got front and rear parking sensors. All of the front bumpers in really nice condition. There are a car, uh, there are a couple of tiny little stone chips uh, which have been touched in. You'll just see very slightly darker little pinpricks. No, nothing to speak of because you can hardly see it on the camera. But um, there are a couple of little chips which you'd imagine on the car low down but if we look these are all the areas to watch out for there's no big chips or anything we're just talking about little specks really and if we look at this side as well you see it's in really nice condition we're being really transparent um, about the condition of the cars if we come in onto the let me get out the reflection here for a second if we come across the front really slowly look there's nothing nasty on there. Really nice. If you're under this is this car's under like 19,000 lumen LED daylight bulbs, which uh, will highlight anything basically. But all in lovely condition. We've got heads up display as well. I'll just come out and show you this side of the car, the driver's side. So we've got the 704M alloy wheels with the M Sport brakes and the blue calipers. So the brakes are slightly bigger and the discs are bigger as well, about 370mm I believe on these. We've got the black gloss mirrors to match in with everything. We've got sun protection glass at the back. So it reflects the heat back out and gives you that nice dark tint. We come up onto the roof, all nice and clear up here. No scratches or chips, no bird dropping stains in the paintwork or tree sap, nothing nasty up there. We've got the connective drive camera at the front because we've got the adaptive LED lights. Let's just come back out. Take a look at the car from here. Now this car's also got adaptive M Sport suspension. Now to have the combination of some of the spec that's on this car, they're really hard to find, particularly in the last six months. So I'm just gonna read through while we're looking. I mean, this car was with a few of the accessories, which I'm gonna to come to in a minute, was uh, in the early 50s. So about probably about 53,000 pounds, something like that. So we've got heads up display. We've got electric tow bar, BMW Icon Adaptive LED lights, two M Sport brakes, adaptive suspension. We've got wireless phone charging, driving assistant, reverse camera, heated seats, which were an extra even on the shadow edition. Concierge services, speed limit display, online entertainment, extended storage, front sliding armrest, Dakota black leather, 
professional media, which is another extra, a Wi-Fi hotspot. I think some of these extras actually make up what's called the innovation pack. There's approximately seven and a half thousand pounds worth of factory optional extras. And then on top of that, this car has the BMW M Performance sound and power pack. So this car is um, been retuned by BMW themselves to produce 360 brake horsepower, opposed to the 326 that they usually are. And in conjunction, it's had the M Performance exhaust with the optional carbon fiber tips on the end. You'll see here, because they can get these in stainless as well, which are a bit cheaper, but this has got the carbon fiber. You've got the M Performance exhaust up under there. And basically the retune is developed to make a really great sound with the exhaust system, hence why it's called sound and power. Now that has a recommended price of about 3,249. From time to time, they do do deals on that package. So you may see it listed slightly cheaper, but that is the list price of it. It's a really nice option. And uh, gives you 0.2 of a second more, naught to 60, doesn't sound a lot, but it's the characteristics of the tune that changes the way the car drives. I read up about it earlier, and um, obviously you've got a bit more power, etc. but it's the way that it delivers the power that they've worked on, and the way the tune is developed to make the sound with the M Performance sound system, and the burbling that you get on the change down of the gear shift and stuff like that. So it's all been done by the BMW engineers, and a really great option. Just showing you around the filler cap here. There's no damage or anything. The body works really nice. I mean, it's a really great car, this, the 340. They're very rare in the, in the touring. And with this spec, even more so. So we just come back round to the front. So there we have it, 340 touring. Let's take a look inside. Just going back to what I was talking about, so with the adaptive suspension as well, which will change um, the ride of the car. We'll come back to that in a second. So inside, we've got the Harman Kardon sound system. Uh, in all, there's about 16 different speakers in the door, under the seat, up in front of the uh, media screen. Just take a look around show you just how nice the car's been finished and there's no damage look at this door card all in really nice finish it's got the carbon um, handle uh, finisher with the pearl chrome finisher we've got uh, puddle lights down at the bottom see how nice and clean it is all down there no scuff marks down the edge of the door either. And then we've got the Dakota leather seats with an electric bolster, which inflates the sides to grip you into the seat. First time I've used the word inflate, usually you say it's gonna blow up. Sounds like it's gonna explode. Let's take a look in the rear of the car. So again, the door card, all in nice condition. A couple of very light scratches just on the door handle. Nothing too nasty, just in the centre there. Just a couple of light scratches, just being really transparent. Really nice and clean down here. Again, the puddle lights. If we come up. Now, they pop these M Performance stickers on there. It's quite subtle, so we've left it. Because it has been obviously tinkered with by BMW with the M Performance Sound and Power Pack, so I think they wanted to make a statement. But really nice aside. Condition's really good. All the black Dakota leather, all in really nice condition. 
center armrest, fold down headrest in the center there to give you better visibility out the back. All your Isofix, etc. And uh, all intact, no scuff marks. It's not been beat to death by anybody. Bless the children that uh, kick them to death sometimes. Open up the uh, glass at the back here. There we go. You can see just how nice and clean it all is up here. Really nice and clean there. So let's just pop that back down. And we'll open the boot. So you can open the boot with the key as well. And you can close it with the key by pressing and holding the lock button for the boot. You'll notice the top of the back of the bumper, all in really nice condition. And then uh, in the back of the car, all the carpets are really good. Got the extended storage. The netting comes up, so the blind that comes out, again, all in really nice condition. We've got storage under, oops, we've got storage under here. And you'll notice these little lugs. What they're for is, this is like a divider, it's uh, sort of telescopic, comes apart. And uh, the posts go in either side, and you can divide the boot up so that nothing slides around in the boot. And then once that's being used across here, you can lay part of the parcel shelf. This piece will actually lay in the bottom of there. In fact, there's a picture showing you just so. So everything there, that's all the extended storage. We've also got a 12 volt socket, little hooks for your carrier bags. And then, uh, oh, Press the button and we've got the electric tow bar. So you don't necessarily need to be towing anything to make good use of these electric tow bars. If you're a keen cyclist and you want to put a bike rack on the back of the car, which is what a lot of people do nowadays, but you don't want that tow bar out all the time. At the press of a button, you've got a tow bar, you've got the electrics there. Not really had any use, as you can see. And then you just press the button again. And away it goes. Completely out of sight, out of mind, but there when you need it. Okay. Let's pop this back up. Peter's going to jump in the car for me and um, gonna have a little listen to this uh, exhaust system. Once it warms up, it will burble a bit more as well. I'm just going to show you round this door before we come back. The exhaust is just going to quieten down because it's come off of a fast idle. We've already had the car running, so we haven't revved it cold. We've had the car running for some while, but the engine's already warmed up. And this door card here all in lovely condition. And then if I come to the front now, just gonna make sure, yeah, so we've got it in sport. So there are two valves on the um, performance exhaust, 
and we've opened them both up. So. Now, you might have just heard that clicking noise. I'm now taking it out of sport and I'm going to rev it again. So it still sounds really nice. A lot quieter. Pop it back into sport. Okay, and I've just taken it back out of sport. So I think you've got to hear the exhaust, basically. Right, what we're going to do, uh, slightly out of uh, sync, we're going to go under the bonnet instead of into the car. Just want to show you that the uh, badge on the front here that supports the fact that it's had the M Performance Power Kit. See, this is the straight six twin power turbo. To say 326 brake horsepower normally, but this one will be running at 360 brake horsepower. Um, more torque as well. I think it's 500 and something newton meters of torque. All in lovely condition under here. All been cleaned by hand. If you look down in here, no leaves, it's all been hoovered out, all been done properly. Just as shiny under the engine bay, sorry, under the bonnet. Okay, and all around the top as well, look. Really lovely car. Right, let's pop this down. Let's jump in the car at the front. Before we do, just gonna show you that that driver's door, let's turn these lights off. Sorry, the driver's seat, all in lovely condition. The bolsters, an area to check, nowhere there. All of the seat base, carpets, pedals, falling apart right now we've got apple carplay so i'm hoping it's not going to connect i'm going to have to disconnect my phone because i'm worried it's going to interfere with and delete my device so that's now deleted Okay, right, I didn't want it to shut the video down as I've spent so long so far. Right, there we go, 28,644 miles. We've got the driving assistant down here, so we've got, uh, I'll just flick it on and off actually. Let's come back up here. Collision warning, pedestrian alert. So a warn is someone uh, is about to run out in front of you by the looks of it, and you can configure this early, medium, and late. It's all touch screen. You can move all the icons around. Oops, there you go. And uh, home, connective drive. We've got Amazon Alexa in here. What's left of the, let me just use this button here actually. And then our media, DAB, online entertainment, music collections, the hard drive, Bluetooth audio. This is for your Logic 7 surround Harman Kardon sound system. Your graphic equalizer. 
go into the map. I said many a time you can save these windows. We had Apple CarPlay up there before that one. And you've got all the sub menus here, which I'm um, more than happy if anyone comes in to see the car or has any questions. I can run through more information on this. I just don't want to bore you to death with all this. It's a long enough video, as always with me. Uh, vehicle settings, um, we've got the lighting. Uh, if we go into lighting, interior lighting, I'm pretty sure we'll keep it on classic. It's all lit around the outside in orange and classic. And if we change that to sport, you'll see the color change. I usually leave it on classic because it shows up a lot clearer. And you'll notice there's lighting underneath the door cards as well. This is the button just down here, before I forget, for the adaptive LED headlights. So basically what will happen, when the adaptive headlights are turned on, the lights will turn with the turn of the steering wheel and the camera up on the top here, in front, just up here, will basically um, close down your main high beam. It's got high beam assist as well. So on a country road, you'll have your headlights on and a car comes the other way and then automatically dip the headlights. And while on that road, if you're turning around the corners, etc., the the lights will follow the direction, the angle sensor on the steering wheel to light up the road in the direction that you're going. That pretty much explains it. Now we have Eco Pro Comfort Sport. This car, as I said to you, is fitted with the adaptive M Sport suspension. So in Eco Pro or in Comfort, the shock absorbers will um, open the valve and relax the fluid in the shock absorber to give you a softer ride. Eco Pro also, oh, go back in there, we configure it. You have things like coasting and you'll see the blue line beneath the car with efficiency 92%. If you take coasting off, that drops to 82%. So coasting is when you come off the throttle the car almost goes into like a neutral, so you've got no engine braking. So it coasts along, giving you better um, fuel economy on those trips where you're just driving gently. Comfort, um, a medium setting, if you like, a balanced setting, as it says. Um, and then when you go into sport, this is where um, the suspension will stiffen. The shock absorbers will change the amount of fluid on one side to make the, the ride firmer for better handling. Now you can configure in sport. So if you did want to uh, just do the drivetrain, which is the power, you could have sport with the softer ride. If you look at the pitch for the car, the shock absorbers are now gray. If we put it on both, they'll go red. Having said that, this button here is in all the BMWs and this picture changes when you press these buttons on all of them, but it will do nothing unless it has the adaptive suspension. A little bit misleading by BMW, but uh, this car definitely has the adaptive suspension, so that will change the uh, the ride. Just point out, we've got another USB down here. Um, just want to make sure. I think we've got we've got Wi-Fi hotspot on the car as well. I think we mentioned that. But uh, if we come back into the control here go to my vehicle and then we come down to vehicle status this is where we can find the service history for the car so this car's had the PDI service or pre-delivery inspection rather oil and filter at 17,000 miles um, nearly two years later they're, they're about 19,000 miles or two years so that's bang on time this will be a brake fluid change which it is and then I believe this is due to go into our um, workshop that we use the BMW specialist and we will probably do the oil change early the brake pads on the front will be changed brake fluids fine rear pads are fine so all of those items will be done uh, the, the brake uh, sorry the oil will be done ahead of time and all of the servicing will be put 
into um, oops into the iDrive here so it will show up in this section and it will also be uploaded onto the BMW platform so you'll be able to see it at a BMW dealer on their system with all the other services okay we've got speed limiter cruise control now the heads up display let's just shut the door again actually let me just zoom in we've got speed limit display as well right above that number plate in front um, let me try and see if I can get this to it's very hard where is it if I come to about here okay let me change that right there we go white car ahead black grill you can see 30 mile an hour that's the speed limit information you can see zero miles per hour and then you can see me flicking through the dab radio stations and if i press the button it will go onto that radio station we've just gone on to channel four and so forth so the heads uh heads up display is all there and we can change oops excuse me go to menu if we go into this one here go down to displays you can turn the heads up display on or off adjust the brightness adjust the height the rotation and change what the uh, heads up will display we'll do your sat nav uh, your music telephone speed limit and speed uh, that you're currently doing right let's jump out let's give it one more little blip very addictive does echo in uh, the garage here quite a bit but there we have it our 340 M Sport Touring Shadow Edition with the M Performance Sound and Power Pack. Lots of spec on the car, adaptive M suspension, adaptive LED icon lights, electric tow bar, pro nav, heated seats, Apple CarPlay, heads up display. It's got all the bits you need. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. Hopefully it's been helpful. Please give us a call if you need any more information. We've got lots of finance options and some really great warranty options as well. Um, with our warranty, you can go back to the main dealer as well. Look forward to hearing from you. All the best. Take care. Bye.